a bright green comet is about to come into view for sky watchers in the northern hemisphere. The icy space rock, dubbed Comet Linear, will emerge from next week and be around 100 times brighter than astronomers had expected. Sky gazers in the southern hemisphere were treated to view of the comet earlier this week, after it passed Earth at 3.3 million miles away. Currently, Comet Linear is moving rapidly into view from the northern hemisphere. But due to moon filled skies, you may need binoculars to get a good view. Sky watchers will need to be out at least 1.5 hours before sunrise, in a location as free from light pollution as possible. The comet is moving between the constellations Sagittarius and Scorpius, which is in the southern part of the sky before dawn. Each morning the comet will be higher up with respect to the surrounding stars. The planets Saturn and Mars are in this part of the sky as well. They and the bright star and Terrace will be the first things you notice, forming a distinctive triangle a little smaller than your clenched fist held at arm's length, according to Sky and Telescope. The comet is climbing to the left of this trio. It will be roughly in line with Mars and Saturn on the morning of March 29th and along a line connecting Saturn and Antares on March 31st. Don't expect Comet Linear to be obvious with a long tail, explains Sky and Telescope senior editor Kelly Beatty. Its light isn't concentrated in a single point but instead is spread out in a soft round glow, larger than the moon but many thousands of times dimmer. Comet Linear has a greenish color caused by molecules of diatomic carbon that are fluorescing in sunlight. However, the green tint likely won't be evident unless you view the comet through a telescope. Given the comet's unexpected surge, astronomers aren't sure how long it will remain. It passed closest to Earth, just 3.3 million miles away, on March 21. Now it's moving away from both Earth and the Sun. Another small visitor, called Comet Pan Stars, passed even closer to Earth, about 2.2 million miles away, on March 22.